Hello everybody, this is Pun the Frugal Streamer, and I believe one of the most important aspects of your audio setup when you're going to be using communications in your games, whether you're going to use it in Skype or Discord, any of the programs that uses a microphone, is proper microphone setup. Whether it is this budget-friendly wireless microphone that is a dynamic microphone, or this $150 condenser microphone that is very popular for most streamers today. They all can sound terrible. If you don't set them up properly, it doesn't matter how much money you spend. So this video, I'm gonna talk about how to set up an, a microphone just using what we have inside of Windows. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And I wanna also talk about some things you need to know about. And specifically, we're gonna talk about microphone gain and placement. So let's go in and get into it. All right, so first of all, let's talk about gain. What will gain do for you? Well, gain is simply how you control the level of your microphone, the output level of your microphone. Uh, some people might think of it like volume, and that's fine to think about this, but gain is set in different areas depending on what kind of microphone you have. So like the Blue Yeti, for instance, a very popular microphone, it has gain built in on the microphone itself, a knob that you can turn the gain up to. Uh, popular microphones have that. You can also adjust gain inside of Windows. Or if you own an audio interface or a small mixer, you know, or any mixer for that matter, you can turn up gain on those devices. So let's talk about a standard USB microphone like my Audio-Technica 2020 USB. Most people buy these USB condenser microphones and because they're condensers, they're amplified. They have a line level output, which means that they're going to be ultra sensitive compared to a dynamic microphone. So. A lot of people buy these microphones. They come with these little uh, desktop tripods that they can mount and sit on their desk, which is you know, awesome in theory, but in reality, it's pretty bad practice because you're going to introduce background noise, okay? And gain, the higher the gain you use, the more background noise you're going to introduce. So how do you get rid of that? Well, there's two ways that you can uh, attack this. Number one is by turning the gain down. But by doing so, you need to have the microphone closer to you. So with gain, I talk about two ways of doing this. So you see either front end gain or back end gain. Front end gain is where you're actually using the gain on your microphone, if it has that available, to turn it up, or the gain right there inside of Windows. So setting gain in Windows is actually pretty easy. So you go into your audio settings, find your record devices, and in there you will see your microphone. Select your microphone and then go to levels, and then there you will see where you can adjust the level of your microphone. And I really recommend that everybody start out at 50%. I know that a ton of people want to, you know, increase it to 100%, add boost, but I really recommend everybody starting with zero boost and start at 50%. That way you can then figure out how much background noise you're picking up. If you're in an environment where you have a lot of background noise, you may need to lower it even more. But adding that front end gain, reducing that is going to help you out in the end because then you can work on back end gain. Now back end gain is where you use uh, a source such as like open broadcast software filters, uh, your record filters in uh, say Premiere, something like that, where you can increase gain post process so that then you can make it the level that you need it to be. By doing that, you're amplifying a clean signal. You're not amplifying background noise because you've reduced the gain on the front end, so you're not picking up as much background noise. And that's really what I, why I like to say that back end gain is better than front end gain. You're always gonna need a little bit of gain to get your levels up in the front end, but the back end is really where you can do a lot of work and still keep a nice clean signal. So definitely back in is better, but I would recommend you starting out at a low gain on the front and then increasing it as you need to get a, a good level without recording a bunch of background noise. So the next thing let's talk about is 
placement. All right, so placement. I always recommend, I always do the hang 10 sign with my, with my hands here. And then I recommend most people, if you, especially if you have a condenser microphone, to take your thumb and put it against the bottom of your lip and then your microphone would be placed about right there. Dynamic microphones, you might even need to get it a little closer, but they shouldn't be far from you, okay? Think about a, a person using a headset microphone. The headset microphone is really close, okay? So they would not need hardly any gain at all. It's right there. It's nice and clean. And it, so placement is critical. I recommend somebody, you know, if you want to invest, get a scissor stand. The scissor stand is cheap. You can go to Amazon, get one for $12. I've used one, I bought on Amazon for $12. It's held this microphone with a shock mount for years with no issues. And it still works great. So definitely invest in a, a, a scissor stand that you can mount to your desk or mount to something uh, close by. Um, I use my bookshelf and mount it to my bookshelf. Uh, but Scissor stands are awesome. Those little tripods that they give you when you get a microphone is the devil. Don't even think about using it, seriously, because you put it right beside your keyboard, you're gonna be getting all these keyboard clicks, it's gonna be picking up fan noise from your PC. Bring that microphone close to you, okay? That's important, because then you can lower your gain, get a nice clean signal, it's recording your voice, it's using that cardioid pattern to reject background noise, and you just get a nicer sound. I mean, really, that's what it comes down to. Um, a raw mic with just proper gain setting, proper placement, sounds awesome. Okay, so go out and do that. That's really the whole premise of this video, is those two things, gain and placement. Other than that, any post-processing you could do, if you wanna add reverb, you wanna add some effect, uh, is fine. But I think for, for live streams, for using Discord, for talking in your game, just those two things will help you tremendously for having a nice quality microphone sound. So guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also share it with your friends, especially if you know somebody that has a terrible sounding microphone. Uh, I have one of the top microphone improvement videos as far as live streaming using OBS goes. It's helped hundreds of thousands of people and I hope this video does the same for you. So. Make sure you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and make sure you hit that notification bell. I'd appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. You can catch me on Twitter at frugal underscore streamer or my gaming side at TFS underscore pun. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the frugal streamer. And I'm also on Instagram, the frugal streamer. So check all those out. I do appreciate it. Hit me up if you got any questions. I've love answering your questions. I love comments. Make sure you make, make a comment down below if it's helped you out. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great week. Be safe out there, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.